often there's a plan, although the plan and timing aren't uh, specific, to go back and have a second operation. He's back having that second operation right now. Another patient who had multiple other wounds that required operative intervention and is in the ICU right now. Do, do you know if uh, the 11 deceased, were, were they all found dead on arrival at the scene or were any of them taken to hospitals and then, and then ultimately didn't make it? There was no one transported to a hospital who then died. Can you tell us about the 55-year-old officer? Because he's the other officer in surgery who is in critical condition? He had uh, multiple extremity wounds and uh, required operative intervention for that and is beginning to recover from that. Okay, so the surgery is over for him. At this it point. is over for him right now, okay. yes. Can we learn the, the age of the other officer? I know you said there was a 27-year-old. Do we know yet the other the age of the other I officer? will get that information for you. I don't have it on the top of okay. my uh, uh, head right now. And the others are, are doing okay, those serious They are doing, exactly. I think that's exactly the way to describe it. And in fact, one of the officers has actually been released at this point? One that went to Presbyterian was seen in the emergency department and released, yes. And the one that went to Mercy, who has damage to his extremity, extremities, is he in danger of losing a limb or part of a hand, or do you know at this point? Well, whenever there's a high-velocity injury, that is, from a gunshot wound, there's a concern not only the direct injury, but injury to blood vessels. And one of the concerns was for the operation was that to assess the injury and the circulation to the hand. I don't believe it's in danger right now, but that was an early concern. When do you expect others to be released? Uh, don't have that information right now. Just too early to make that call. Were there, uh, this was a Saturday morning early, were there, were there doctors that had to be paged or called in to, to, to come on in and help out with this? So we have a full team available 24-7, 365 at both UPMC Presbyterian and UPMC Mercy. But separate from that, and particularly in the beginning, when we did not know how big this could be, we actually did call in extra physicians at both facilities. So I had emergency physicians, trauma surgeons, and virtually every other specialty, and nursing help, social work help available. There could have been dozen more if you, if you were thinking about how big the, the service was, and we just didn't know in the beginning. So yes, we did prepare for that, and we did not need to use all of those resources. Can you 